Hello everybody, Andrea Tereski here with Dental L Tutoring. Let's talk about some more tips that I can give you in clinic to make things run a little bit more smoothly. Now I did do a video earlier where I did talk about it depends on your school. So all of the tips that I'm giving you, they may not apply to your school or you may not be allowed to kind of put them into action depending on what I'm saying here. So just keep that in mind. Like in the last video, I, I, um, I talked about bringing home the charts ahead of time and doing the first part in the medical history ahead of time. But I don't know if you're allowed to do that, so please just kind of keep that in mind because some are and some aren't. So another tip that I can give you is I have a lot of students telling me that, you know, they're doing an okay job in clinic, but the parts where they're not doing a good job at seem to be the easiest parts. And that's because they forgot to have something signed, they forgot to fill out a page, their instructor forgot to sign something or forgot to, you know, check mark something or whatever, right? And that does happen. So if you're allowed to, um, I might even have some here, purchase some sticky notes, um, even some much smaller ones from the dollar store. They're not expensive. Um, even if you do have the larger ones, just sort of like rip them like this or even less, but you know, so cut them up or just rip them and in your chart here i have an agenda here that i can show you guys in your chart if there's a page that you want to make sure that you don't forget or have signed put a little sticky note here so that way even if the chart is closed up that is telling you like oh okay shoot i need to get a signature you know here right so it does help to have sticky notes because I remember when I was a student, you know, like our charts were huge and every step we would have to do that and then have the instructor come off to sign it. Right. But then sometimes they allowed us to move ahead if they had to mark a lot of students. So then I would be like three steps ahead. But then when they came back to sign things, I would say, OK you need to sign page two. Oh, and there's also page 10. Oh yeah, wait, and sign page 20. So they were not always one after another. So sticky notes helps to make sure that you and your instructors are forgetting and, um, anything. Because how I see it is the instructors should be making sure to sign things, but they also have 20 or more other students that they have to look after. So even if they want to try to remember to sign everything so you don't fail, um, they might not. So these helps you and it helps the instructors. But some students have told me that they're not allowed to have it, have, you know, anything extra in the chart. So you might not be allowed to have sticky notes. I don't know, but that helped me stay organized. Even if you're, you know, um, working and you're in your chart on step three, you know, I don't know about your charts, but when I was in school, we had a chart where it was so hard to actually keep them open. We would put them on the table or the counter and they would be open, but then just the way the charts are laid out, they would close again. So then here I would have to take off everything, open up the page, um, put my gloves back on, and then before I turned around, the chart would close again. So it just helps to have these sticky notes to make sure that you're always on the right page. I don't know. That helped me. So just kind of something tiny, but if you haven't thought about it, then I do hope that that helps you. But as I said um, earlier, please make sure to comment below if there's a part in clinic you're, you're um, stuck on or having trouble with, and then I would be happy to help you. Okay. So good luck. I know it's stressful, but it is possible. Okay. So good luck.